So in today's tutorial, I'll cover another reason of why Redux can be useful. So here in front of me, I have a basic app and it has four screens in it. I've just given them generic names for now, screen one, two, three, and we have a setting screen. All the screens just have one text view, which shows the name of the screen. Now let's assume that you want to give the user an option of being able to increase or decrease the font size of your application. There would be no simple way of doing that without using something like Redux. That's because all these screens are currently sibling components. And in order to pass down any font size to all the screens, we'd have to do that through a parent component. But as you can see, we're using a draw navigator to set up our screens. So instead of trying to pass down our data from a parent component to these screens, Redux can help us inject our font size into each of these screens very easily. So let's go ahead and build this out. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I've opened up in my code editor and I'm running it on my iPhone simulator. We'll go ahead and start by installing the dependencies. So open up the terminal and let's first install React Navigation. We're going to go for version 2 in this video. Next, we'll install Redux. So let's say npm install Redux. And lastly, we need to install React Redux. So we'll say npm install React Redux. This will help us connect Redux to our application. Once the dependencies are installed, if you get an error here, just run npm install and restart your expo project and you should be good to go. So let's start by connecting our app to Redux. For that, we'll create another folder here and let's call that app. And inside that, I'm going to name my app font-size.js. Let's import in some boilerplate code here and call that font-size. As always, the link to the snippets that I'm using here are available in the description. Now in the app.js, let's import this app we created from our app folder. Now instead of passing this view here, let's pass in that font-size app. As we can see, it's got updated here and we'll just leave it at that for now. Coming to our font size app, let's create our draw navigator. So here I'm going to import in our create draw navigator from react navigation. And instead of exporting our default font size class, I'm going to say export default create draw navigator. And I'm just going to punch in the screens. So as you can see, I've created four screens here, screen one, two, and three. And the last one is the setting screen. So let's go ahead and create these screens. So inside our app folder, let's create a new folder and let's call that screens. Screen one.js. So here we've got our four screens. I'm just gonna populate them with basic boilerplate code screen two, screen three, and lastly our settings screen. So we have our four screens ready. Let's import them in into our font size.js app. Here we'll say import screen one. And similarly, we'll import the other screens. So as you can see here, we're getting screen one. If we drag in from the left, we have our screen two, three, and our setting screen in our draw navigator available to us. Now let's go ahead and implement the functionality to increase or decrease the font size of our app. For that, inside our app folder, let's create a new folder and call it components. In that, we'll create a new component called custom text. And here, let's call this custom text. And instead of passing a view with a text, we'll just return a text. And inside this, we'll say this.props.children. Let's leave it at that for now. And let's come into each of our screens and get rid of this text that we're importing from React Native. And instead, let's import text from components slash custom text. If we save that, our text is still working. I'll replicate this in the rest of the screens. Now, each of our screens is using a custom text component. And by using this.props.children in our custom text, we can just pass in whatever we want inside this text and it'll display here. In our custom text is where we will modify the font size, which will automatically update across all our screens. So now let's come to our app.js. And here, 
Let's create our first store and our reducer. So I'm going to say import create store from Redux. And I'm also going to import provider here from React Redux, which will help us connect Redux to our app. For simplicity, I'm just going to create our store here. So I'm going to say const store is equal to create store and pass in our reducer here. We had to create our reducer. So let's go ahead and do that. Here I'm going to say const reducer. We give it an initial state of say 12. And the second parameter has to be in action. Inside this we'll say switch action.type. The first case will be increase font size. And the second case will be decrease font size. So every time increase font size is called, we'll increase the font size by four. So we'll say return state plus four. And every time decrease font size is called, we'll just say return state minus four. But let's put some limits to these font sizes. So we'll say state not equal equal to 28. Then we'll say state plus four. Otherwise just return the last font size so that the font size does not go beyond 28. Similarly, if state not equal equal to 12, then return state minus four. Otherwise, return the last font size, which would be a minimum font size of 12. In case no action type is found, just return the default font size. So let's go ahead and map our font size to our custom text component. So custom text here, let's just import connect from React Redux. And here, let's just map our font size to our props. Let's say const map state to props. We have the state available. And here we'll just return font size, which maps to the state. And let us connect this up by passing in connect. And we need to pass in the map state to props. Here, let's give this a style and say font size is equal to this dot props dot font size. So now it's getting the font size from our Redux store. Oh, as we see, we're getting an error here. That's because in our app.js, I forgot to pass in the store to our app. So here, let's put in the provider and let's pass it the store, which is the store we created up here. Now, as we can see, a new font size of 12 is reflecting here and we can confirm it's reflecting across the other screens. So it makes sense to give the user the option to increase or decrease the font size on the settings screen. So let's go to the settings screen and here let's import in a button and let's set up two buttons here. Here on the settings screen, we can confirm that we're getting our two buttons. However, they need to have this on press prop. So we'll say import connect from React Redux. And here, let's map our actions to props by saying const map dispatch to props. It has the dispatch method available. And here, we'll return our two functions, which is increase font size Let's just map that to dispatch and we'll dispatch the action increase font size. And the second one would be decrease font size. And with that, we'll dispatch the action decrease font size. So now here on our buttons, all we need to do is we can say on press is equal to, and then we can call this dot props dot increase font size which we created here and which in turn will dispatch the action increase font size and on decrease we'll just say on press this dot props dot decrease font size and save that out and lastly let's connect our settings screen to redux so we'll say connect the first parameter will be null and the second one will be map dispatch to props let's save that out refresh the app if you go to the settings screen and click increase we see that the font size is now increasing. If we click decrease, the font size decreases. And we can confirm that by going to the other screens. And as we can see, now we just need to use our custom text component on any screen in our app. And irrespective of the number of screens, we can just increase or decrease the font size from our setting screen. So that completes this tutorial on using Redux in setting the font size of your app. I hope you guys like this and try this out and thank you for watching.